Paralyze is trolling The Sims. That's what people are claiming after the latest Paralyze reveal. So this is something that has been a running dialogue between Paralyze and Sims. The latest one that caused some quote unquote controversy was a food showcase. This is because this food showcase came out right when the new Sims 4 Step Pack Chef Home Hustle was coming out too. Now my personal opinion before we get into these actual posts, yes I do think Paralyze is aware of Sims. Sims news. After all, a lot of their community comes from The Sims. On the other hand, do I think that Paralyze is legitimately trolling The Sims? Probably not. As we're going to see very shortly when we get into this post, really, it's just a showcase of food. It's not the same as a stuff bag that has small appliances. So this food showcase is definitely not Paralyze's first food showcase, but it shows their attention to detail and also how they're using community to collaborate and make their ideas. I went for a whole selection process where they've been receiving suggestions for food to add to the game. This really shows that they are able to really handle those well, filter out what they think is going to work best for their game. But they aren't just selecting food because they actually had objectives in mind. Number one, of course, they wanted different types of meals for different times a day, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They wanted different meals for different cooking skill levels. They wanted to add some cultural variety to the meals. However, selecting only a few cultures is hard, so they decided to prioritize meals that fit their objectives most and add further options as the game updates. And honestly, I think this makes sense. You can only add so much in the base game, and I trust them to add a good variety. They wanted variety in choice, speaking of which, for different dietary preferences or restrictions, which is a small detail but really awesome to add in the beginning of the game. And they also mentioned, I think this is really important to take note of, there are only two artists, that's right, two artists, not a full studio, and this also includes things like working on other things like furniture items, characters, etc. That just shows you how much work they actually have to do and why it's so important that they really prioritize what they're adding to the game. Now that last point they said is crucial for deciding how they should make it to the final list. There's a lot they plan, but they need to make sure their production makes sense for them. They prioritize meals that would offer a good variety while having the possibility of sharing the 3D objects and textures. So right here is a full spread of the food they were creating. And let me just say, I know that Paralyze art style, say this every time, is not for everyone, but I am definitely charmed by it and I think it's looking fantastic. Now most of the food items here are the things they have done so far, and in fact I think this is already a really good start. And again, it's not just about the food, it's about what details they're adding. For example, in this picture here, it says that depending on the Paralyze skills, new soups will be unlock. You will know which ones require more skills because the cream itself is different. For the cream based soups, they were able to create a lot of different types like asparagus, pumpkin, beef while minimizing the work required. Between the various flavors, they were used most of the work and only needed to do a few quick touch-ups. Now again, this might seem like a really small detail, but this is what I'm really impressed with. They know they have limited resources and a limited team, and because of this, they are trying to prioritize things they can be flexible with, versatile, and get a lot of use out of while still adding those significant little details. And then next up, they also have pies. In this case, they chose a base pie in which the filling is mostly hidden until you cut a slice into it. As such, they only had to redraw the filling for the different types of pie they needed. And they did mention, of course, this wouldn't work with all types of pies, but this again is really smart. And again, this versatility in the smart ideas of reducing the workload but still adding good details comes along with the breakfast. So for the breakfast you see above, they created different elements and were able to mix and match them into different meals. Some little touch-ups here and there and we get different spreads for toast too. This will require some different skill levels and it might be too daunting for a beginner to whip up a whole English breakfast by themselves. Now I'm not entirely sure but I think we see some kind of jam or preserves on this toast 
toast and also avocado toast, I'm guessing, which by the way, I actually have never tried avocado toast. This is Nutella or something like that. I'm just going off a whim here. It looks like just butter, a fried egg, and then I guess this is the full English breakfast, which admittedly is something I have never had. And in my opinion, it's good variety, keeping the art style consistent and also at the same time reducing the amount of artwork they would have to produce. And then we have pizza and I love the look of this pizza. I love the little basil leaves and I even like the detail of the torn crust too. Similar to the other items on the menu, the pizza will serve as a base to iterate and create different variations such as pineapple on pizza. And then they said that pretty much wraps it up for this post. So I definitely don't think they were trolling The Sims with this. It doesn't really have that much to do with the stuff pack. That's just my personal opinion. But am I impressed with the level of details? Yes. And I'm also impressed with how smart they are being with this process. I know people are impatient for this game to release, but in my opinion, they're doing what they can to expedite the process without rushing it unnecessarily. And it so happens I missed yet another post and I want to cover it really quickly because it has to do with summer fashion. And even though, yes, it is officially fall, my favorite time of year, I still think this is worth covering. So this first scene shows them lounging by the pool. Now they did mention the pools are not yet ready, but I do think they are coming with the actual game. And they said this little patio is a setup to show off the new swimsuits and then of course the patio furniture itself. And here's a look at some feminine swimwear. We have some full body and of course we also have bikinis. And again, I think little details make a world of a difference. Of course, we're going to have a lot of customization in the Paramaker, so if you don't like the swatches, guess what? You can probably customize a lot of this. I really like the sun hat and I like the sunglasses too, and the little details like the cutout in the back of that swimsuit are really fantastic. And now we have something that is more suitable for the fall weather, and these are jean overalls. Just like Maggie's skirt overalls, you can combine them with different tops to create very looks. This is fantastic. The ability to layer clothes in Paralyze, it's definitely not a must have for me, but I think it's pretty incredible. Imagine how many different outfit combinations you can get. Why does this matter? It means you need less items in the Paramaker and you can get a lot more use out of them. Again, it also could inspire a ton of creativity without any CC or mods required. Now scrolling down, we also see some different makeup options. You can change each layer of color and opacity. Optimization really can make a game feel a lot more personal and also a lot more immersive. No, I am behind on both Paralyzed and Life by You news, but there honestly is a ton going on. I'm teaching right now. I am trying to promote my debut novel, which is coming out this early November. And honestly, there's been a lot of stuff with Sims too. So I just really appreciate your patience. Thanks so much for tuning in. And if you did like this video, please give it a like and share. As always, take care and I'll see you in the next one.